Dr. Ashton, <laughs> you've got some insights, uh, some of our yes. viewers asking questions. Let's start with the first one here. At this rate, do you think enhanced COVID-19 protocols in public spaces would be advisable? Okay, well, first, let's qualify. This is asking for my medical opinion, mm -hmm. and you know I like to distinguish when I'm stating opinion versus scientific fact. I think as a physician and as just an individual living in these unchartered waters, I think, you know, sometimes it is appropriate to think we need to do more, not less. Of course, the answer to this question depends on what is happening in one area, because it's not one size fits all in this country. Um, but at least for the short term, we need to be prepared to hit the brake just as we can hit the gas. Okay. So do a little more. And certainly if you feel comfortable, do more. All right. Another one here. Are there any foods? I can eat to help alleviate pain and other symptoms caused by ovarian cysts. I love this question because it enables me to put on both my nutritionist hat and my gynecologist hat. The short answer to that question, TJ, is no. Food is not going to acutely treat the symptoms associated with ovarian cysts. Uh, as I like to say in the world of women's health, ovaries make cysts for a living. That is what ovaries do in a reproductive age woman. So sometimes they can get large, sometimes they can cause problems. Many of them will resolve on their own in terms of treating that acute discomfort. Uh, if you're following it, non anti-inflammatories like ibuprofen and follow up with a gynecologist are the name of the game. Right. Food, not gonna help the ovaries. All right, Dr. Ashton, thank you. Keep the questions coming to Dr. Ashton on her Instagram at Dr. J. Ashton. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.